Jeff Inman, Executive Chef and Director of Venue Operations, House of Blues Houston. I knew I wanted to be a chef when I was 17, and the, and the chef, country, uh, chef of the Country Club let me cook my first recipe of my own for a wedding that we were having for 500 people. It was my Bananas Foster recipe. It was a live action station out in front of all the guests. He put a lot of faith in me to go out there and perform and not set the place on fire when I'm flambeing. And, and I really, you know, just thrived in that atmosphere and, and just loved the look on the people's faces when they came by and wanted to be served. And that's that's when I knew that I wanted to do this for the rest of my life. Okay, guys, walking in, two chicken Caesars. I love the, the very start of cooking, the prepping and the speed and, you know, being able to produce things quicker and better than other people. And then I love the line and the craziness, the hectic service and, the speed of that. I think I'd be a great candidate for Hell's Kitchen because I have the professional experience running this venue with over 400 employees and 42 managers as well as teaching at the local culinary school, added pressure, being able to multitask and put myself in pressure situations that I feel I excel in. I feel like I have the ability to multitask which is definitely a plus in this show and I have the determination and the will to beat all the competitors. My cooking roots come from Louisiana, definitely. Uh, my family is from there, from Baton Rouge and, and Lake Charles, and we have, you know, I developed a lot of taste from there. My grandmother, my aunt um, is a very good cook. My dad is actually a very good cook as well. Um, so I've kind of taken things from them over the years and modified them uh, to my own taste. Um, a lot of French influence a lot of Cajun influence, some Spanish roots, and you know, kind of evolved that into my own style of fusion. I got started as a chef um, because I really didn't like the front of the house uh, and I liked the restaurant business. So I started cooking and enjoyed it and I was with my best friend, we worked together and he was really good at it and he taught me a lot um, from there and worked for some great chefs in Louisiana coming up and kind of used my college experience, my managerial experience to flourish in this business and continue to develop my craft. They opened a House of Blues here in Houston. I came on six months prior to opening, got to develop the menu, develop, hire all my own managers, my own crew, order everything, kind of build it from scratch, which is something that I've always wanted to do and continue to do. I'm over both front of the house and back of the house, the entire venue, um, all 64,000 square feet. I love the action stations and being able to get the guests involved in the experience. I just love special events because it gives you the freedom to do things that aren't applied to your menu, that you can go off menu and develop lots of different cuisine. It's more than just cooking. Being a successful chef is putting on a successful business, is managing your costs, is putting out quality food, is changing that food and constantly evolving it. I've cooked for every, uh, lots of celebrities. I've cooked for B.B. King, I've cooked for Beyonce, I've cooked for Jay-Z. I've actually cooked for Bill Clinton earlier in my career. I've cooked for Shaquille O'Neal, um, lots of sports stars. I've cooked for Usher. Um, I, I did enjoy B.B. King the most. He was um, he really loved my southern cuisine and I got on his RV and spoke with him and he kind of knew my background from just the flavors that we put together for him. So he was really impressed with the food and I think that's probably the ultimate compliment. My personality outside the kitchen is almost like two different people. Outside the kitchen, very fun, family oriented, um, not as serious, real playful, love to have fun with my kids. and. Uh, in the kitchen, it's more serious, it's determination, it's um, focus, and you know, being really candid, straight to the point, um, but still being respectful. My kid's favorite dish is definitely lasagna. We have it at least once a week, um, usually on Mondays, and I cook it from scratch, and they always ask for it, and they usually help me cook it. They come in and in the kitchen and put on aprons and, and uh, help me roll out the pasta, and make the marinara sauce and everything. So it's, uh, it's kind of a fun family activity. 
My favorite thing to cook is probably black and red fish with crawfish etouffee topping. That's really my one of my signature dishes. It's something that we put on the menu all the time as a special here. It's really one of my just best recipes and it's very simple and in its simplicity, it, it's just really flavorful, really bold and um, and that's, that's what I like about it. It's not too complicated and kind of straight to the point, kind of like me. I want to be on Hell's Kitchen because I want to represent the city of Houston, represent people, chefs from Louisiana, and you know, go on the show and show that the talent is here. It's definitely flourishing and there's lots of talent down here and I want to go on and showcase my talents on national TV. Um, I feel like Chef Ramsey could teach me a lot in the very short time I'd be around him and I'm always looking to increase my depth of knowledge. You can never stop learning and I want to continue that path. Once a chef, always a chef.